name's Lindsay Dickens Rossler, and I am here today to bring fire, or at least I'm hangry, so when I'm hangry, I bring fire. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm sitting outside the dealership. Susan's inside the dealership, and we have a lunch after this. So if you can only imagine. I got to tell you a story about this. Okay. Everybody who's paying attention to this. So I'm actually sitting in an office probably seven years ago where Lindsay met me. And so if y'all don't know, Lindsay w sold me newspaper advertising at this dealership. I'm sitting in their office because I'm getting my Cadillac um, service. And how ironic is that, that today you're the speaker. Today I'm in here. She's coming to pick me up. Um, and then we're going to go eat lunch, which is what we probably did seven years ago. <laughs> then we became Facebook friends. And then she decided to join this business with me. Isn't it crazy? I'm like, you just come kind of a wow, day Wow, yeah. Super interesting to think like that. Sorry, crazy? Cadillac people that I'm in my Audi, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Anyways, um, so here's the deal. I have, I am one of those people that I'm not going to reinvent the wheel, but I overthink that wheel. So that's what I'm going to bring you today is it's all about lives and opportunities because that is something that here I am being in this business for almost seven years, still struggle with today. And so when Susan said, hey, would you speak? Or actually, I think I said, Susan, I'll speak on this because I can be vulnerable right now with people. Here's what I want to tell you. If you are scared, if you're crazy, if you think all of the things, that's why I'm sitting in this car doing this live. Susan's like, well, you can come pick me up later. No, I want y'all to know that you can work this business in the nooks and crannies of your day. You can sit in your car and work this business and do the do and whatever it is to get the get, right? But here's what I want to tell you. I have watched other leaders in this company, friends, family members go and do live videos and opportunity lives. And I just, as much as I don't, I can talk the ear off a damn billy goat, people. That does not bother me. What bothers me is I don't know where and when to go live. I don't know what to talk about. Sometimes I feel like I'm just ugh, throwing up on people. This is where we're going to start. I'm going to give you a twofold today. Live videos. This is where you're going to start. The first thing I want you to do when you do a live video is I want you to think of a title, okay? I, the two things that are gonna bring fire to your lives are a title and a call to action. That's the most important thing. If those two things are not in your lives, then really you are rambling like I've probably been doing for six and a half years. I don't think they've had lives this whole time. So like what, three? So here's what I'm gonna tell you. On these live videos, I'm gonna give you some ideas. Go to your Google. I want you to type in Google five tips to stay hydrated, okay? It's gonna list you five tips right now to stay hydrated. You're gonna go and your title is gonna be, let me give you five tips to stay hydrated. You're gonna jump on a live and you're gonna say something along the lines of, did you know that just as many people suffer with dehydration in the winter as they do in the summer? That could even be your title. You're gonna jump on. You're gonna name five tips. Guys, you Google the five tips, okay? Drink water first thing in the morning when you first wake up. Eat it through your fruits and vegetables. Make sure and carry this fun gallon jug around. Guys, I don't know about you, but this thing right here has been my saving grace. Like, y'all, it's role play right here, okay? Y'all are my live video. I don't know about you, but this has been my saving grace. I've um, ordered this about six months ago, and it goes everywhere with me. Do you have one of those water bottles that you just absolutely love? You're going to list the tips, and guess what your call to action is going to be? It's going to be different for everybody, but your call to action on this particular water one could be one of two things. You could say, hey, Drop in the comments below and a water emoji. I'm going to give away one of these bottles that has been my saving grace. Guys, this is $16.99 on Amazon. If you're not in a position where you can do that, and that is okay, that's not what it's about to give something away. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to jump. You're going to say, you know what? Drop me a water emoji below. I'm going to send you the link to this badass. Um, sorry. Yes, I'm a cusser. So, um, water bottle. That's what you're going to say. Okay. That is your call to action. No matter what, you got to make sure that you have a call to action. So let's go to our next live video and think about it. Jumpstart your metabolism. Google, 
What are five, three tips to jumpstart your metabolism? Guys, we all know that the Thrive experience is what we want to do, but I'm not throwing up Thrive. So I'm going to type that in. And guess what? My next thing is going to be my call to action is going to be, I'm not really sure on the metabolism thing. Hey, guess what? Put a running emoji in the below and let me see. I'm going to send you what I jumpstart my metabolism with. Obviously, it's going to be my jumper cables in the morning, right? But that's my call to action. Your next one, if you're um, five tips to avoid weight gain during the holidays. Sorry, I got my notes down here. Go Google five tips to avoid weight loss during that. Google is going to be your best friend. Guess what your call to action is going to be? Hey, who wants to be accountable with me so that when I want to eat the whole dang pie and not just a piece that I can reach out to you? Like that would be my call to action because we all have those kinds of things where we want to be accountable, right? So, and I'm, I'm going to give credit where credit's due. This is a challenge that Tiffany Deroff did and I am following the leader. I am not reinventing her will. I'm like, Tiffany, I love all of those things. The title is where it's at. It's where you pull people in. Another one that you could do is how to stay positive when you're sat, surrounded by negativity. Guess what? Mine is going to be, I do, um, I've done the 100 Days to Brave. Right now, I'm doing the Believing Bigger. I also have one that a friend gave me that gifted me a month ago. It's a, I like the daily ones. So I'm going to talk about the believing bigger, right? And I'm going to say, who wants to get in an accountability group with me so that every single day we can say the prayer that comes in that. That's what I'm wanting you to do. It starts with the title and it ends with you saying at the end, a call to action. Guys, this is not Thrive related. What this is, is this is me building a relationship and letting people know that I'm human. I suffer with negative mindsets. I suffer with getting my water in. I suffer with procrastination and different things like that. But you know what? I'm going to give you some tips. And at the end, my call to action is going to be me trying to get them. I am pulling them in. That's the most important thing. Now, here's where you can sell yourself short. Biggest thing, guess what's going to happen? You're going to sit here and think, well, I, didn't, I only got one person that put a water emoji. I'm not doing, this didn't work. Do you think they're going to jump on your very first live and your very first call to action if this is new to you? Absolutely not. But you know what they're going to do? The next time that you do, um, are you a procrastinator live? that's going to reel them in again. And the next time when you do a meal prep live, that's going to reel them in again. And you're building that relationship. So on lives, the main thing, you've got to have something that pulls them to your live. It's got to be a title. Not this, I mean, mine are always long, not just, it needs to be something that pulls them in. I love the fact that you can say three tips or cowboy cat, you know, help, let's make cowboy casserole together. Well, a lot of people are like, what in the hell is Cowboy Casserole, Lindsay? Or you know what? One that po probably had over 2,000 views is a taco spaghetti that I did. That was my husband. I never even heard of taco spaghetti before he told me how to make it. Be smart in things that you think are so outlandish or what people want to hear about. That is, that is my fire when it comes to lives. Do it. If you're still sitting here and you're like, Lindsay, you sound so positive and so whatever, and you can... Then start with stories, okay? Go and feed your Instagram story over to your Facebook and you get four slides if you do the hands-free. Start there. You know what? You can critique yourself there. People can see it. And then you move over to a live. But here's the thing. There's no perfect anything. I want you to stop thinking you got to have your hair done. You got to have your makeup done. You got to have a ring light. You got to have perfect lighting. You got to have a perfect background. Your Thrive Things has to show you. Your office has to be clean. Hell no. I get more people when this Afro is sticking up on top of my head. I get more people when I'm in my pajamas. I need you to be real and raw and authentic. Like, join me on the Hot Mess Express train. Do not sit here and try to be somebody you're not because that's when they're going to be like, what is she trying to do now? That's not what we're doing, guys. What we're doing is we're proving to them that we're, we're crazy and we're true. 
nine times out of 10, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna see me in this purple robe that I have all the time on most of my lives. That's just who I am. So let's switch gears here. This is where my mindset has had to shift. I will be a thriver for seven years in January, okay? So I am so close to that mark, that seven year mark. I have always led with the product. And this is, this is very me being vulnerable. So I need y'all to listen up. I have always led with the product. Had the product not changed my life, I can bet you I would not be sitting here. So I've always believed in that. But I've had to have a mind shift in the past couple of weeks that led me to realizing that I need to start talking about the opportunity. Yes, when, when somebody thrives, I can always throw that in. That's super simple for me. It, what's not simple for me is sharing the opportunity before I share the product. That is something I have struggled with. But you know what? That's where I'm failing. That's where I'm lacking is I'm not sharing this opportunity with people who are laying their head down at night wondering how they're going to pay their bills, much less Christmas, right? Okay. So guess what I started doing last week? Scared shitless. I started Opportunity Lives every Tuesday and Thursday at 745 Central Standard Time. It's called Chances Allows Choices. That's what my website feed is to, to Lavelle is Chances Allows Choices because I took a chance that allowed an unlimited amount of choices. So that's a series that I started. But you know what I did? I went in and I scheduled somebody for the next six weeks every Tuesday and Thursday so I could not back out like a pansy. It, I had to pull my big girl panties up, my bootstraps up. I had to get serious. And I sat down. I have somebody scheduled every Tuesday and Thursday tonight. Go and follow me. I can promise you it is going to be an incredible story tonight. I have my friend Lacey Mamos on. She's a stay-at-home mom. She didn't need this opportunity. Her husband makes plenty of money, but I'm going to tell you right now, it has rocked her world in a way that has never done it. So I had to change my mindset as passionate as I am about the Thrive experience. And I want people to have energy. I want people to have discomfort relief. I want for people to have all of the things. I think it's time for me. I had to get bold and I had to dig deep and say, Lindsay, you got to talk about the money. You got to show people the truth. And that is what is so so hard is you've got to find that. And so I've hosted these now. I've had two tonight will be my third one. I love it. I am again, I will be in my pajamas. I'll be drinking my hot cocoa. One minute I'm sitting in the floor the next minute. Like I'm letting people know that this is just life. I'm not sitting on here giving anybody any BS. I'm asking them, are you laying down tonight wondering how you're going to pay your bills? Because that's that's what I was doing. So I had to be vulnerable and transparent in where I was financially. That's never been, I mean, if I sit down and have lunch with you, I don't mind telling you that. Do you think I wanted the whole Facebook world to know that? No, but something inside of me, a particular scripture stood out to me and said, God was like, Lindsay, you're holding yourself back to letting people know what they have in front of them and that you're going to do it. So here's where I want you to be bold these last few weeks until the end of 2020. Guys, everybody's scared that we're going to shut down again. Everybody's something, right? It's just human nature. You can fill that void in their heart, in their mind about an opportunity. So when I end my opportunity lives, I actually say something along the lines of you are meant to be better at more than just one thing. You are meant to be better at more than just one thing. I've had so many people not necessarily jump on, but reach out to me and say, wow, what a bold statement for you to say. You can be a good mom and do a side hustle. You can be a badass boss babe at um, selling cars or working at the Dollar General, or maybe you're a CEO of a company. You can be all of those things and be good at being a side hustle person. Don't ever sell yourself short that you're not worthy of more than just one thing. So when I end, that's how I end my lives. I start them with saying chances allows choices. I go in, obviously I say something along the lines of, hey, you were brought here tonight because either you want the product, you're interested in our products, or you're interested in the opportunity. 
Let me just go over our three simple steps real quick. I go over the three simple steps and then I dig deep. I say, you know what? Let's insert side hustle. I don't know about you, but it is so nice to know that I can lay my head down at night and make money. Was it work? Did it take me grinding? Absolutely. But you know what? When I lay my head down at night, I know my bills are paid. I know that Christmas isn't going on a credit card. I know all of these things. And if you're sitting here and you're like, Lindsay, I'm not there yet. You're going to be there. Where are you? That's the thing. Where are you at right now? Are you being able to pay your grocery bill because that was something you couldn't do? Are you being able to buy diapers, put gas in your car? Wherever you're at, you can say that. It doesn't mean that like you're footloose and fancy free and debt free. Guys, I'm not debt free yet, but I'm working at it. That's a goal of mine. So I go over and I just say, I don't know about you, but this is just something that I have to let people know. This is where I was. I was just like you. And then I have a guest that comes on. Opportunity Lives, Dual Lives are back and they're in action. You've got to wear your um, headset. I'll be the first to tell you. Make sure you and your speaker have your headset on. Let your speaker do the work. I give my guests that come on, I say, hey, I need seven to nine minutes. I want a 60 seconds elevator pitch of your Thrive experience, but I want for you to tell me how you financially have gained gain this. That's the thing that I focus on. Then I end it with, you know what, if you just want to thrive, that is great. We want for everybody to live a life they deserve. But if you're here tonight because you're tired of burning the candle at both ends, you're tired of scraping the bottom of the barrel, you're tired of living paycheck to paycheck, here we are. And guys, I list, we're a debt-free company. You get your product shipped directly to you. We get trips. We get auto bonus in our second um, rank in the company. Number one, the products work. Like I list that out and then I end it with you are better. You are, you deserve to be more than just one thing. You're better at more than just one thing. And I'm going to tell you this. So I've only done two. Tonight will be my third. Guys, I had, you can ask Susan, I had notes verbatim written. So my very first chances allows choices. I was so nervous. I read off of a script and I was like, Lindsay, that's not who you are. Like, why are you reading off a script? Let people know who you are, what you stand for, why you're passionate about this and why this opportunity is a game changer at the end of 2020 into 2021. Guess what? Uh, Tuesday rolled around. I had my last one. I went off my heart and it was fire because it was passion in my voice. So I have challenged y'all to do quite a bit of things. I've challenged you with some lives. I have challenged you with opportunities. Here's the thing that's really cool about these opportunity lives. They, yes, they're on my Facebook page and I tag the speaker. But everybody can watch these. And the thing is, is when you end your opportunity live, you always say, hey, whoever brought you to this, reach out to them because they genuinely are concerned about you. They want you to do, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that you finish it with that. I think so many people get the misconception that, oh, if I lead it to Lindsay's live, they're gonna go and take my people. Because that's not what we're about. And if there is somebody like that, shame on them. That, that's between them and Jesus. But what you can do is show other people this opportunity. Tonight, it's a stay-at-home mom. Like I said, she doesn't need the money. Her husband has a great job. She started because she needed the energy and she wasn't leaving money on the table. Okay. That's why she started tonight. So it's going to be kind of a, a role reverse of a stay at home mom. But the thing is, is you've got to do them. So I want to challenge each and every one of y'all that are on here. Start one a month if that's where you're at in your business. Start one a week. I will scale back in 2021 to one a week, but I want to fire these last six weeks because I know so many people are sitting in, just sitting and waiting for whatever's fixing to happen instead of reacting. So I really wanted to be right there in front of their face and let them know that there is an option. So many people want it, 
they're just, it's that one extra step. It's that one time that you do, that I do that chances allows choices that maybe they're sick and tired of it. You know, maybe I get new customers because they just are ready to thrive. Take it however you want it. That's what you want to do. So that is my powerful, bold going on and doing. I, I am no better than the next person, guys. There are opportunity lives. I know leaders in this company have been doing them for years on end. Again, that was something I was not passionate about was leading with the products. It was very, very scary for me. And when I called Susan up last week, well, now started Tuesday, week before last, I was scared to death because I'm going to tell you right now, my graphic says take a chance or lose, take a, take the, take the risk or lose the chance. That's bold. That's bold for me to say like that's, but that's who I am. It's time for you to take a chance or you're going to lose the risk. I mean, you're going to lose it one way or another. No, not that our company is going anywhere, but the opportunity for you to dive in when you need it the most could pass you by. You know, let's not lose your house. Let's not lose your card. Let's go pay for your groceries. Let's not have you um, racking up your credit card. So that that graphic was very bold for me, but that's what I was trying to portray. I'm ready to, I had to flip my mindset. So. I don't know if I have preached, scared the heck out of you, giving you the heebie-jeebies or pushed you to persevere further in your business. That's what I had to do. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now, as a 200K leader, as a Lavelle millionaire in this business, I, I still didn't lead with opportunity, but I am now because I'm going to tell you right now, my new rock stars watching me, but I haven't been bold enough yet. They haven't heard my passion. They haven't seen the things that I've done and they're fixing to see them two times a week. They are seeing them. So that's what I want to encourage you to do. It doesn't need anything fancy. You just got to do it. So I want to tell you to do the opportunity lives. Going back to just the lives. Google's fixing to be your best friend if it hasn't already been your best friend. I want you to find something you're passionate about and go Google it and just ask for ideas to make sure that you are um, putting in, um, you know what I'm saying? Like make sure that whatever it is that you're typing it in, like what is procrastination? Bam, 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 bam. Um, so that you have a guideline to go off of. Now I'm gonna tell you on these live videos, you need to stay within five to seven minutes max. My opportunity lives, the first one, we had a glitch. It went 20 minutes, but my second one was like 11 minutes. I'm not here to spew 30 minutes worth of stuff on you. I'm here to spew 11 minutes of fire to your soul to make you, when you get off of this and you're in the shower and you're like, by golly, what is that Lindsay freaking Rossler girl doing? Like I've been seeing her, but now she's being bold. That's what it's all about. So. If you're going to have to teach yourself and learn. If you're not ready to go live yet and you want to go and just do a video on your phone and then you want to upload it, that's great. Now, you're, the views are not going to be where you want them to be on that type of thing as far as a live, but it is. Another thing about a live, don't sit here and say, okay, this is just me critiquing. Hi, Karen. Hi, Susan. Hi, da -da 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 -da. Hi Natasha. No, you do your damn business. And you get off and then you go back and you thank them for joining and ask them questions and do things. You'll spend 20 minutes telling people hi that jump, jump on and off. That, that's not what they're there for, y'all. They're there for you and your fire and what you're trying to give them. You have a certain amount of time to reel them in if they're going to stay. So is that certain amount of time, is those two to three minutes that you have them vulnerable are you being transparent? Are you pulling them in with your title? That's the main thing. Then you leave them with the call to action. Your call to action is whatever it is that you're doing as far as your, like for instance, um, another one that Tiffany did on her live video. How do you want to double the calorie burn with any workout? I loved it. I, I was intrigued. I went in and I watched that. All it was was lifting your foot up or doing stuff with weights. She sent me a workout and her call to action at the end was, hey, if you want the workout that I do, message me and I'll get it sent to you. I can only imagine 
how many people messaged Tiffany Deeroff because, I mean, hello, let's just look at her arms and her abs. How many people messaged her wanting that workout? Her call to action was on point. On my Oppor Opportunity Live, my call to action is telling people that you're better at more than one thing. Remind yourself that you're better at more than one thing. Like that, I don't know about you, but that hits me in the gut. Even to this day, as I have a daughter in college, I'm working towards being debt-free, all of those things. So I could go on for ages. I am getting hangry. I can, pro I don't know, Susan's somewhere in front of me. I could even wave at her. But um, anything in the chat, y'all, because I am on my phone that I need to address, Natasha or Susan. Hold on, I'm looking. So to, I don't know if you said this or not. It. How, how many times a week do you think you should go live? Like I personally, I can't to make, hear you. Why? Why can't can you hear me? Susan, you're fine. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So how many times a week do you think you should go live? Like I try to make sure I go live three times and this week has been easy because I'm doing my gratitude, my seven days of gratitude. Um, but I try to go live three times a week. Um, just on my page like how, how many times would you recommend i know you're doing at least two because you're doing opportunities tuesday and thursday she said in uh, 2021 she's gonna bring it back down to one that's okay. what she said on there but she's she's um pushing hard into 2020 um to finish 2020 out because i believe um personally as well as Lindsay, that right now is the time to get this in front of them and get them thinking, right? They may not take action right this moment, but the time that they're like, you know what? I'm, I'm feeling like my back's against the wall and I am better. I can do more than one thing really well. They're going to think about you who did the live. Yeah, true. Okay. Natasha, did you switch offices? I just, <laughs> no, I just turned my desk around. I just moved my <laughs> office. So I have like multiple like ways I can make you guys think I'm in a completely different room. <laughs> I'm in the same room, but the Christmas tree is going up. So it's going to go over here. So I had to move my desk. Okay. So David, you do a live video. Yes, you can do them on Facebook or Instagram. I did one on each of them today. Shannon, um, Shannon says, Lindsay, she says, I overthink almost everything. I have to get onto Lindsay every day. I'm like, stop. Stop overthinking. Just, just go with your gut. Stop overthinking it. Be real. People love real. So just be real. Um, <laughs> I'll say this. If you're in a position where you're like overthinking like me, just press the damn button. Once you press the live button, dude, you're full steam ahead. There is nothing you can do. You better make sure. I always make sure to let my nightgowns pulled up and something's not hanging out. Because once I press that button, there is no going back. So press the button and just do the do. So somebody says, I noticed that people leave as soon as they see you, you've got to keep them captured in. And so if you are like Lindsay said, if you're like, Oh, Hey, so glad you joined me. Like you might call them out, but make sure you're starting. And where did we hear it? I don't remember who told us to not jump on a live and go, okay, let's just wait for a few more people to jump on because you're basically telling the people who are on that they're not important enough. So, I mean, like as soon as I go live, I start talking. That reminded me, guys, I always interact. So tell me where you're at. Are you watching live? Are you replaying? What team um, lifestyle mix are you? What kind of workout are you doing? Um, what's something you procrastinate with? Like if you're having them interact, that's great. The one thing I will leave you with, do not look at how many people are viewing your thing. Just talk because here's the deal. Do you know how many times I jump on a live and I don't mean to or whatever the case is? If I sit there and watch that number go from 50 to 10 to 12 to 4 to 30 to 15, you're going to freak yourself out and be like, what am I doing? No, 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 no. You do you. You get out what you need to get. Then I'm going to challenge you that night. Go back and look at how many views you had. Then you're going to remind yourself, okay, I'm getting this little thing down. It's a working for me. So I'll leave it with that, y'all. One thing yeah, I'll, of, I'll end with, yeah. with um, live video, guys, look at your camera hole. Know where your camera is. Because if you're looking at, if you're talking to me, but your eyeballs are over here, I'm done. I don't care if it's a good message or not. I am out. If you cannot look me in the eyeballs, I am done. So if you want a Natasha Robertson personality on your team, 
look them in the eyeballs. Yes, absolutely. That is so true. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the comments, Lindsay. I don't know if you can see those or not, but um, there's a lot of people who will go live every day. It's really your prerogative. If you have a good, if you have good info, like I would say Tiffany Deeroff, when she was doing hers every day, they were amazing. Um, and it, it captured me in and I always wanted to hear what she had to say. Um, but I would also say that, you know, you could overdo it and people start counting you out if you don't have good um, if you don't have good content, but I always like to go back the next day and see how many views have been on my um, live, because let's say it's 200. Let's say it's 200. That's 200 people who viewed your stuff. Try posting something on Facebook. Do you get 200 likes? No, you don't even get, you just don't. So um, going live is definitely going to help get your algorithms up. And I love, Lindsay's are really, they're fun. And she did one with teachers the other night. And immediately when she went on, I went right in and did a watch party because I knew it was going to be good. I knew teachers needed to see it. Um, so super awesome. All right, Lindsay, well, we uh, so appreciate you sitting in your car. And I'm so glad, guys, that she's sitting outside this Cadillac dealership where she met me for the first time in Denton, Texas. And we are going to go eat at one of my favorite restaurants because that's what we like to do. And she's obviously very hungry, so she'd probably like me to quit talking right now so we could go eat, right? So, Natasha, did you record this or did I record this? You did. Okay. So, it's going to be up on YouTube. I'm going to start downloading it right now. I'll have it downloading while her and I are eating. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Y'all have a great day. See you tomorrow.